guys. Hmm. There was something captivating about her, and I learned a lot from her, having hosted a program with her twice. Dr. Camille Lord. Woo! Dr. Lawrence is no ordinary female. That's right, no. Dr. Lawrence is no ordinary person. <laughs> Dr. Lawrence is the person. <laughs> All right, so let me just, you know, I'm going to cut you on to some things. Now. If you want to talk anything, see her. <laughs> <laughs> She'll take care of you. All your questions, your concerns, if you wouldn't even think you have a problem. <laughs> She, she's, she's that calm spirit. So I'm going to invite Dr. Lawrence. Yeah. Can I just say something? Can I just interject? Ms. Brown said that Dr. Lawrence is no ordinary person. She is not. She's actually responsible, I believe, for my being here today. When I, when I last year, um, February, I believe, um, my mammogram came back and showed positive for stage zero cancer. And it was Dr. Lawrence that called and said, I got you, don't worry. Uh -oh. I will take care of you and you will be just fine. And Dr. Lawrence is all the way up in Hartford, Connecticut. And I left New York and went to see her in Hartford, Connecticut. My surgery was done, performed by her at the hospital in Hartford, Connecticut. And I have to tell you this bit of information to show you that all our doctors here tonight are no ordinary doctors. When I was wheeled into that OR room and I saw, I was a little groggy because I was, you know, I was a little nervous, I don't like needles, so they had to give me something to calm me down. But I managed to, I saw Dr. Lawrence's face and she says, I got you, just listen to this. And I said, okay. And all of a sudden, she pulled something out of her pocket and pressed a button, and Bob Marley won the oh. <laughs> <laughs> And I knew then I was going to be ordinary. She's definitely no ordinary person. <laughs> I'm a surgeon, and as a surgeon, we function like the Navy SEAL. We go in, we get the job done, and we get out. So I won't take too much of your time, but I just want to say thank you for this prestigious uh, recognition. You know, I've received several awards throughout the tenure of my career today. I'm not as young as I look. <laughs> I'm approaching 50. Um, but there's nothing like being recognized by your own. Yes. And that's what this evening uh, represents for me. So I want to say thank you. Thank you for fueling my fire. Thank you for fueling my passion. And I uh, just want to recognize my mom and dad are here with me. Yeah. And uh, my extended family, Shamar, Karen, and John Branley are here with me. So thank you. And for the youngsters in the room, I will say to you that you can achieve anything. Yes. I am the first in my family to graduate college. I'm the first physician and the first surgeon. And along the way, I had my doubts because I didn't know anybody that looked like me who was doing what I wanted to do. But there, for the grace of God and support, I'm here today to tell you that you can rise to the challenge. Thank you.